But anyway, uh, here we are, and uh, we f I finished the tutorial quest, and uh, I need nanites, and I need cash. Uh, and uh, I need to find... What I need to do is find a, st a storm... What happened to my mouse cord? I need, a I need to find a storm crystal planet. And... Um... I need to make warp fuel too. Build the advanced mining laser. What does this take? Let me do that real quick. I think I can do that. Yeah, uh, let's see. Advanced mining laser. Uh, oh, I need the wiring looms. All right, no. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, just port to the space station then. <laughs> gotcha. I'm also going to need some jetpack upgrades and all kind of things, but I need nanites for that. And, uh, but I've got all the inventory that I've got a lot of extra inventory space because it's not that super crazy limited inventory space. As I was saying yesterday when I started this save, my ideal gameplay would be a little more difficult as far as damage and survivability than permadeath but with inventory somewhere between permadeath and normal because i think the limitation of inventory in permadeath and survival is just frustratingly silly um let's see here current system right tide hub So times five is pretty good. Uh, what did I say? It's uh, so you can store up to 1,250 of any of the major items in your main inventory and 2,500 in cargo inventory. So it's not the 9,999 of normal, but it's not the uh, 250 and 500 of. Um, yeah, of um, permadeath or survival. Has been a long day. Words failing. All right, what do I need? I said I need two wiring looms. I can't even afford one wiring loom. I got a problem. I got problems. I can sell the selenium. Now, how much do I need, really? I'm going to need a hundred grand. And I don't have anything all right i gotta find a storm crystal planet that's the easiest quickest way to make money i mean i could i could scrap i could scrap one of those ships that i got i could scrap that hauler that's that's legit i think let's let's try that let me let me go down to a planet call the hauler fix it up if i can scrap it It's a fin planet. We'll just go to this one. It's right next to the space station. What? 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 Who's bothering me? Artemis. Is, is there anyone out there? Identify yourself. I tell the stranger I can hear them. There's a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You found me. There's so little light I thought I'd never hear another soul again. How'd you find my voice? Found a crashed ship. I'm gonna scrap it. I tell the straight No, wait! There was no ship at his spot. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck. I found their communicator ID and the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. Ask about the 16. Fear of confusion. You don't know who you are, do you? It lied to me. It lied to all of us. Sound cuts out. Fang slingers on. Okay, in communication. I just want to get it to the point where I have to do something. And because I do not want to do this quest again. Okay. 
Even though those ships need repaired, I ought to be able to summon them. I think that's the little... That's the dealio. Summon other ships. Uh, it's just the hauler in this one. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> ah, it's turquoise. It's blue. It's my only problem with these big haulers, with the with the square things on them, the uh, is that they only have these two engines in the back, and and it doesn't look powerful enough. It's not it's not balanced, in my opinion. Anyway, let me get in here and repair this thing. Uh, let's see what do I have to do to repair it. I need uh, hermetic steel and uh, metal plating. Uh, I can't even make hermetic plating. Woe is me. So these are all minerals, so let's scan these. Where's the question mark? 59. I don't want another one. Uh, oh, bugs. Uh, good. Uh, this is a plant? Looking for question marks. I'm not seeing any. Uh, Alright, let's just start mining these things for ferrite and oxygen. That's right. These planets have the coolest combinations. Alright, can I make uh, can I make metal plating now? And can I make a carbon nanotube? I need for something, I forget. I don't think I need a carbon nanotube for this then. I needed a hermetic seal. Uh, hermetic seal, there we go. Okay. And then for this, uh, I got this, which is a miracle really. And I need one of these. We're rolling. Uh, that's it, man. That's it, dude, that's it. Let's, let's, let's. We're real close to the space station. Yeah, let's go. I think I should be able to avoid any fight, theoretically. Famous last words, as I believe. All I have to do is find the space station. And... And, and then there it is. 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 Right... There. Big money, big money. Wee, wee. Survival Bob, how you doing? How was your weekend? <clears throat> All right, I'm scrapping it. I need the cash. I suppose. Uh, yeah, I'll get to that. What, what, I'll get to that. I suppose uh, I could take the stuff off of it just because... Uh, oh, is there anything? I can get rid of this. There's a wiring loom for free. Uh, one of these. Anything else? Yeah, get this, get this out of here. What? Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I can. You can't scrap this. You can't scrap the shield. You know, it's a shame. Okay. Uh, so now I can't scrap it because I have no free slots in suit inventory. So I don't even know what I'm thinking. Uh, what can I get rid of here? I need to scrap it for cash. It's just a C class, so it's not like it's going to give me that much stuff. Uh, I'm hungry. Let's eat. I don't need these. I got ten of them. I'm selling it. Totally selling it. Let's go to the back room. Cool. Uh, yeah, I've... I'm streaming in the evening. Um, just because I'm usually playing a game anyway. And, uh, I just keep the camera off. And, uh, chill out and just stream whatever I'm playing. You should have seen, uh, Sunday night... I uh, did a creative six hours, uh, and there there was a few here. I think Dragon was here. Somebody else was here. Aurora, I think you were here too. Um, 
uh, up until 2 a.m., six hours to get a creative mode character to the center. Com- completed the Artemis quest. Uh, Cause I, I, you know, I read on Reddit and it was confusing whether you could do it or not. And nobody does the Artemis quest in creative mode. So I said, well, I'll do it. And uh, we got all the way to the end. And I finished it and got to a new galaxy. I, I went into a band, an abandoned galaxy, which isn't abandoned, but um, it was it was interesting. Creative mode is interesting because you still have to find a ship, you still have to find a multi-tool, you still have to get suit slots. Uh, it's not as uh, boring as I thought it would be. All right, uh, we'll sell all the wheat. And I need space. I'm gonna sell the chlorine. I'll buy it later. I'm gonna sell the selenium. That's this is a big regret here. Um, uh, what can I sell? It's oh, fine. I'll sell the silicate powder. I'll sell the pure ferrite. He's desperate, people. Uh, okay, let's go. Let me go ahead and craft the. Uh, what, what do I need for this? Uh, carbon nanotube, hermetic seal, and another wiring loom, which I don't have. But I can I can put this in there, and then I can make a hermetic seal. Don't give me that crap. Don't give me that crap. I don't know what you're. I can't even make a. I I can't even. All right. I don't know if I have enough. If I have enough space or not. I have 11 magnetized ferrite. I'm going to sell that. Sell all the damn ferrite dust too. This is sad. I think I will continue that creative save. But I I, I wanted to get this, this survival guy, this modded guy, into it a little bit. The planets look really cool without drops. Um, and I was saying before, I think before you stopped by, um, Bob, that... Um, the uh, there's also another mod that gets rid of all the damaged machinery, and uh, boy, that gex gonna bug the hell out of me. Let me let me uh, magnetize ferrite gear. You sell it, and uh, I'm gonna need a cobalt mirror, so I want to hang on to it. I really, really do. Why did I pick this up? I'll pick it up again. I don't need glitches this early in the game. All right, and I don't need ammo right now. I can make more of it. All right, we're good. Let's see if let's see if I can scrap this thing. Um, what was I talking about? What game is this? It's been a long day. Oh yeah, there's a mod to get rid of, it, but it both don't work together. But um, he gave you a way and instructions how to combine the two so that they work together. And then the planet, if you think about it, the planets would just be empty. Without the cargo drops scattered everywhere and the damaged machinery scattered everywhere, the planets would be empty of all the junk. Uh, 7.9 million. All right, don't, don't let me down, man. Do it. She didn't complain. Yay. Whew. All right, I can get like 20 nanites by selling the C modules. One C hyperdrive module. I'm tempted to install it. Yeah, I'm tempted to just install it. You know, uh, we're back to the radiant pillar. Yeah, I already have one crappy C. Let me let me install another. This will give me another hundred. There. What are you what are you doing now? What do you want me to install now? What are you even So we're up to a whopping 277. Um log, build the advanced mining laser, unpin. Is this still gonna bother me? Excellent. Okay, let me sell this stuff. Uh, it says in the description, um, they're loc- oh, no, no, it doesn't. Let me, let me get you the list of, uh, hang on just a second. Um, I hate the way when you tab out of No Man's Sky, it just stops. I wish there was a way to keep it running. Uh, Nexus. 
So the mods that I'm running are how do I how do I see what mods I've downloaded? Mods Download history. Here we go. Um this one and this one. So this is the no cargo drops. And this is the item stack multiplier. Um, it's times, I'm using the times five um, for survival. So you can store 1250 in um, your regular cargo and 2500 in your, um, or your regular inventory and 2500 in cargo. And then the other one is the no damage machines. Uh, these are all by this dude, Loki. I think is what he calls himself. There it is. Here's the last one. There you go. Alright, let me get back. Mm, I'm lost. Where am I? What was I going to do? Sell. All right, let's sell stuff. Uh, we got thermal panels. We got a handful of cogs. Uh, we got um, um, high-speed vector compressors. Now, you know, this is economy. So I could actually go down to a planet and get more for this. I think I'll do that because I'm feeling rather greedy. Tank of coolant. Uh, activated indium, compressed indium scraps, reinforced piping. Yeah, so let's. So this is plus 20% for 1.9 million. Somebody remember that. 20%. 20% for 1.9 million. These chairs don't work either. The whole thing's broken. Ah. Uh, money maker, baby. Money is my middle name. I'm a merchant. Well, I got it all going on. Give me another one. Oh, wait. I can wait for it. Magnate. There we go. Full. Topped it out. That's it. That's it, dragon. That's exactly what he was talking about. And I've never, I've never uh, dealt with it before. But, um, I'm in software, so I should be able to figure it out, you would hope. One would hope. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, I don't have a... I need five microprocessors for the economy scanner. I got money. Sorry. Hold the phone. Where's the entrance again? We'll go right back. I need the I need the uh, to scan for trading posts. That would help. <laughs> you can sit in some chairs, just not the spinny chairs. And it it uh, it's really disappointing that uh, you can't sit in the spinny chairs. Oh, you know what else I need to get? Oh my goodness, the jetpack. Uh, the other thing is, um, I need to get these missions. I don't know what I was talking about. It's been a long day. Browse missions. Uh, kill Sentinel, sure, someday. And uh, locate a missing person, locate a missing person, kill 12 pe creatures, sure. That's it. Don't you shake your head at me. Alright, five microprocessors and a Coke. 95,000. Yeah, 6.5 million. Alright, let's get that thing installed. Uh, technology, it's the economy scanner, got everything that's needed, wabam, wabam. Uh, what else did I buy for upgrades? T-800, 
teleport receiver. Three more wiring looms. That costs too much. Oh, this. Uh, another three wiring looms. Damn, Sam. Um, you didn't have chromatic metal here, did you? By chance? <gasps> 707. Mine. All of it. So where did it go? Let's see. Right, so there's the... 1250, so that's that's the max slot size here, 1250, and then another 1079 here. Uh, everything is happening. Uh, so now I want to install that drive uh, in the Starship. Um, three wiring looms. My bad. Not sure why I didn't buy the three wiring looms. One, two, three. What did I need? I needed two. No, I needed two more. That's so expensive. I, the teleport and the teleport receiver is just crap. Oh wait, hermetic seal. What did I need to make the hermetic seal back off? Uh, I needed condensed carbon, and I don't have the backpack. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Did I buy the backpack? Did not. All right, I'm gonna have to go get some dent condensed carbon to do that. But um, I should have everything else. True story. Yeah, that's already installed. This is already installed. I just need the condensed carbon for the hermetic seal. Okay. And then, did I buy more? I have one. <laughs> uh, right, I was going to do the indium drive. Or, sorry, the cadmium drive. I need two more wiring looms. What, what kind of a... Two more. Please excuse my... Two more there. Just get it done. You know you, you know you want to put it in. You can keep getting distracted. Uh, it goes in the starship. Uh, we're going to put it right here. And there we go. Alright, now I can go to red systems at least. And the pulse engine has no upgrades at the moment. And uh, I think I'm okay. I just need the condensed carbon. I wouldn't say I'm okay. got noob instructions for basic use. Cool. Uh, oh, I didn't hotkey it? I thought I did. Uh, let's see. Utility. Trading post detected. We're just gonna pulse into this atmosphere to clear this. I know I got these. That's the whole point. All right, so where did it find that uh, thingamabobber? Over here somewhere. Right there, right here. Trading post, here we go. It's an acrid planet. So yeah, Bob, if you're still around, um, I actually have a second channel, Tolacram T-O-O, and I put most of these, uh, hey, Fuzzball Acute, how you doing? And I put all these um, VODs, I guess you'd call them, for these videos up there, because my channel doesn't, my main channel doesn't do good with long form. 
the people that expect either foundation videos or edited No Man's Sky for the most part. All right, remember what that remember what that thing was that cost was. So down here, it is thirty one percent for two point one. So it's one point nine million in the space station, two point one million down here on the trading post. There's your informative how to make the maximum amount of cash on these stupid trading things. Totally not worth what I just had to go through to get down here. But, uh, give me the cash. And just quit hocking loogies all over the, all over the floor there, dude. Ooh. That's not bad. There's some, oh, there's one. I mean, I, I don't get, I don't, I don't do haulers. But there, it's interesting. It, it it needs some cargo space or something. But at least it has the extra engines. To make it look like it could haul something. The problem with this one is, it doesn't look like it's hauling anything. Because it doesn't have uh, any balls or... Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Where'd I park? up here all right now i got a lot of chromatic metal um i need condensed carbon which means i need to put a refiner down what's low what are you complaining about uh i can totally grab this condensed carbon totally can't why because this needs a hermetic seal which needs condensed carbon all right fine Fine, 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 fine. Let's park it down here. You guys don't mind if I set this here, do you? Uh, one metal plating. There we go. And let's see. What do I got? It needs carbon for fuel. And then I want to make condensed carbon. And I have how much carbon? <laughs> 18. Mm, how much oxygen do I have? Didn't I buy a bunch of oxygen? I could buy some more, but it, temporarily I'll put almost all my oxygen here to make carbon. I'll bounce over this thing. Let's uh, buy you out of oxygen. I got money. You have 82. Great. Um, oh, I can just buy a hermetic seal. Yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Uh, stop. Yeah, get this oxygen back. Put this in uh, exosuit high capacity. Tear this up. And uh, now I have the hermetic seal. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. There, I think it's installed. Yeah, okay. And uh, now I don't need to use it. So now I want to uh, warp. So let's see here. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oops. I want to make. Uh, oh, I do need condensed carbon. I see. But I have a toxic protection module, right? Or I installed it, but I don't have any. Oh, this is ammonia. Oops. No, I don't have toxic protection. That's okay. All right, I'm in uh, survival mode. Got to be careful. It'll be fine. Let's uh, grab some of this, and I can actually, I think, refine fungal mold down to uh, down to carbon too. Let's analyze. The shield's, uh, ooh. Hmm. Get this carbon. Is this ammonia right here? It is. I'm gonna try to avoid to Watch me find storm crystals on a toxic planet. And then regret that I don't have a toxic shield or ammonia. Well, if that's true, I can just get 
ammonia from that. I really need that backpack refiner, man. It's killing me that I don't have it. Oh, stop it. More fungal mold. It's exciting stuff, isn't it? So if you take a look at the, uh, easy, easy, easy. If you take a look at the planet, it is kind of neat that there's no cargo, cargo drops. I don't know if you really notice it or not. They still, there's still the, oh, where, where, where? All right, it's right below me. So there must be bad crabs or something here. That guy's running really fast. Really, really fast. He's running in a circle. Really fast. Ah, uh, yeah, these little dudes. The little dudes. I don't really have a... Uh... Get away from me. Get away from me. Alright, there's a lot of little dudes here that don't like me at all. So we're going to have to go up the ladder. Bastards. I can still get that. Where did I see the, uh... Yeah, I got it. Right up there. Got it. There we go. And then I gotta climb the ladder because I'm so lame. So lame. Wait for it. I'm a drifter. This is great. All right, this planet's no good. Let's 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 blow this popsicle steam. Yep, I was almost killed. I've made it to the anomaly, yeah. Uh, what did I need? Um, we'll just coast, it'll be fine. I was, I wanted to make antimatter. I can now make two. This is good. And I can make two, I can only make one of these. What a revolting development. Well. Oh. I was gonna say, that's a little strange. Um, there. So I'm just gonna double check all these planets, but I think I scanned them all and there was no activated copper in any of them. Although I've got the money now, I just need the nanites. Alright, I had that quest pending. Well, that's good. This quest can just sit now and not do anything. Frozen planet. Oh, what was this one? Low atmosphere planet. That's the fin planet. And there's another planet right here. Which is a shattered planet. What does a shattered planet look like? I forget. Copper, gold, cobalt. I forget what that looks like. That's another frozen. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. We're out of here. Orbit 
Uh, I didn't want the atlas. Lady. Alright, I know it's there. I see it. Okay. Everybody sees it. There it is right there. That defines where I'm not going. Thank you very much. So, I can make it to a red star now. There's nobody here. How many planets? Uh, there's three planets and three moons. Let's give it a, let's give it a whirl. Yeah, I need to do some ship scrapping, but we'll see. I only started yesterday. Just got the anomaly. Out of nanites. Because I was kind of rushing to get the anomaly. I did it in two hours, which is slow for a speed run, but extremely fast for me. I think my normal was like four hours before that. Is this is for some reason it's another web it's a webbed planet. I keep running into these systems with all wacky planets. Alright, what are you? You're a activated cadmium. Fungal mold. I knew it. I knew it. Bases on the moon at the far side. Let's let's get these. There's this one. Show me the money. Get right there. There you are. Scan it. Uh, a vermilion globe. It's another wacky planet. Anomaly planet and whatever you call them. And this is a viridescent planet. Activated cadmium. Uh, that would be heat, right? I don't think just because it has activated doesn't mean it's an extreme hazard planet. And where's the moon? It only has one moon. Alright, I'm gonna... We're gonna check this out. And then I'll check out the moon on the other planet. What, 24 seconds? Whew. But yeah, Bob, if anybody asks, uh, I'm an expert at uh, creative uh, gameplay. And running out of pulse engine fuel in the middle of nowhere. Oh, man. I only have a pea shooter. And I'm still gonna blow you up. How many, I wonder? Cool it. Oh, that's a cool looking ship, isn't it? Look at that. So even though it doesn't have a station, you can potentially find a wreck of, a, of this ship in this uh, in this system. If you can find wreck ships in this system, I wish you. Can you hold still so I can kill you and get this? Give me the stuff. I think I missed the stuff. No, I didn't. I got it. Alright. Uh, pulse engine. Right. Where was I headed? No. I was headed, um... Other direction. Up here. I was headed to here. Purple sky. Might as well go to the bright side. So let's, uh... Let's go this way. Purple's cool. Purple sky's not bad. Uh, purple and green, it's... Let's just say it's an interesting, interesting color combination. Looks to be storming. I have a heat shield, so 
but I don't ever remember these planets being extreme hazard planets. You see the ground? Anybody see anything? There's a big pillar. Okay. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. It looks like a cave. And let's land here. Scalding rainstorms. Nope, this is an extreme hazard. Well... That stinks. It's just a stormy planet. Alright. So we were here. I don't, I can't, I don't have any fuel for the launch thrusters. Alright, now, I was going to look for the other moon. Oh, what's this? Vermilion globe, right. I was going to look for the other moon, which is right here? A rotting moon? No, 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 I had that one. This one. Desert moon. All right, well, I can pick up the cadmium and then we'll get out of here. I assume this is going to have storms as well. It used to be that you could count on any time that it had an activated version of of whatever you were looking for, whether it be copper or cadmium, cadmium or indium, that it would be an extreme hazard planet and you'd have storm crystals, but that's just not true. Or it's only true with activated copper. Do I have a take a photo? Or is that another save? Yeah, I don't have any take a photo. Okay. Uh, we're looking for cadmium. Uh, 315, that's good. Uh, I don't have any fuel. I almost made a mistake. Uh, let's, let's handle the gold nugget. And then let's make some launch fuel. I can't because I need metal plating. That's okay. And I can't make metal plating because I suck. All right. Now, I can identify more things because this will get me nanites from the dude at the station at least. So let me just identify stuff. What does that give me? Just carbon? Uh, it doesn't seem to have a lot of different elements, does it? Alright, that's fine. You can get salt anyway. I need ferrite dust. What are these big tall things? That's going to be pure ferrite, right? Yeah, pure ferrite and sodium. I don't need pure ferrite. So how about this big guy here? Hey, crap pool. How, how you doing? I, I know how you fit. Bob, one of the reasons I'm streaming is because I'm, I'm getting tired, a little tired of editing. People are wanting my normal series and I just don't feel like editing. I just don't feel like it. I do edit the streams, but it's easier. I just edit out the boring bits when I'm not talking or when I'm talking to somebody about some random subject. Like this, for instance, would be edited out. 
if I was putting it on my main channel. I don't know. It's not a. It's an art, not a science. I'm an artiste. Good luck editing your video. I think I got everything. Ooh. One me. So I should be able to make uh, metal plating now, right? Uh, surely. Uh, no radon. No salt. Uh, get rid of the geode. What was I going to make metal plating for? Oh yeah, let's make... I can only make one. God, I want a, I want a revolting development. There, launch fuel. Uh, starship. Uh, launch fuel. Seriously, I can only make one metal plating because each one of them requires 50 ferrite dust and I don't have any ferrite dust. It's okay. We're going after... Whoa, where did I get the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did I get the rare metal? Where did this come from? I just got three of them. Where'd they come from? That geode? Really? Huh. Alright, fine, that's cool. Oh, crap, pool. If it was only that easy. If it, I, I got, did you see me pick up, did you see what you did? Carpool, that was your fault. I picked up the blue thing and then I didn't use it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just kidding, of course. Um, If it was only that easy. That's why I have the second channel, so I can just still do whatever I like. Yeah, crap pool, you're uh you're silent, um uh ba 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 Subnautica series. It's pretty cool. How come you're not talking in it? You just didn't want to or you don't have a mic or what? Oh, I need ferrite dust to charge that thing. Man. Starting out is hard. Oh, you know what, though? I can actually charge it with pure ferrite. Alright, hold on. Let's delete the gas. And let's... The fungal mold. If I had the backpack scanner, I'd totally be turning the fungal mold into a carbon. Uh, cargo, I have one salt. Get it out of there. Here we go. Not ready for it yet. That's cool. Just remember, practice makes perfect. If you look at the first videos on my channel, they were not uh, platinum platypus. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. They were not good. Halting, talking, uncomfortable. Um, I don't know that my videos are good now, but at least more people watch them. <laughs> it took about a year before I got comfortable. Uh, I let up on the button before I got comfortable doing what I was doing. Right, I need uh, ferrite dust, and I'm, uh... Mm, there's someone. Oh, I need a cold shield at night here. Well, that's a little annoying. 
Okay, get the plant. What are you doing? Get all the plants. Get all the stuff. Did I overheat or run out? I overheated. Hey, uh, so the mods are, um, I'm using, they're all from, uh, Loki. You can find them on Nexus. And for this particular save, I'm using a mod that uses the lines in space and one that removes the, um, the cargo drops. So you won't see random, you'll still see a uh, damaged, broken machinery, but you won't see, uh, uh, any cargo drops on any planet. And I'm also using a mod that increases inventory size. Uh, unfortunately, there's no mod that increases um, damage to your suit and such. I thought I... Did I really run out of... Uh, I was going to say. Um, but I, uh, I'm using a mod that increases stack size times 5 because I'm playing survival mode. So 1250 in the main suit and 2500 in the... Um, cargo slots. All right, crap pool. See you later. Hey, JKN fifteen. How you doing? You know, back back in twenty. 19 there was a mod that hasn't been updated that increased your peril it increased damage to the player from various sources which i think is what um survival and permadeath need but um it hasn't been updated and there's no more mods i don't know whether they you can't mod it anymore or what the deal is i should really look into how to create mods to see if it's creatable or what what the deal is yeah, these things overheat. You know better than that. Alright, hopefully I have enough jazz on the Taz to be able to recharge. Uh, actually, let's uh, switch over to the train manipulator and then attempt to recharge it with... How about pure ferrite? Only 70%? Man. That's okay. Let's just finish this off. This is exciting stuff here. I am the terrain manipulator expert, of course. And I say that because uh, in every playthrough I end up spending uh, way too much time doing this. Yeah, I thought so too, uh, Platypus. Um, I haven't tried those yet. I didn't want to get too radical with this with the the save alteration. I figured just removing a few things without really altering the terrain generation would be kind of cool. Um, and this suit, the suit slot size for this, um, I think might be just about right, at least for my. For my style, I don't like one of. I I, I mean, no normal mode's a lot of fun, but there's no in, the cargo slots have no incentive except for storing some of the things that artificially limit how much you can store anyway. I really like in permadeath and um, survival how you're you really want to get those cargo slots since they store twice as much as the main slots. Yep, well, we're just about done with that. How much cadmium? Can you, can you? Oh, that's right. If I have the train manipulator active, I can't recharge it. How much cadmium? Cadmium do I have? 525, that's more than enough. Okay. 
Um, let's just summon the ship. That's why I... Oops. Yeah, um, JKN, the, while, while I want a little more damage difficulty, that's not the main reason I play the game. Um, if I was really into getting my ass kicked, I would be playing like a first person shooter or something. But, um, I, I'm, I mean, I see your point. It's just not the main draw to the game for me. But I still, I would like it. I would like it because I too find uh, permadeath fairly easy, except for maybe the first five, ten minutes. The first five, ten minutes of permadeath is a little chancy, and then after that, I don't know. I, uh, I haven't died in permadeath, so. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the next system. Let's just find another system. There's no space station here, so... Let's go to... That's indium drive required. That's another red star system. How many planets do you have? Three? Nah. How many planets do you got? One? Forget about it. I wish I could read the... There is a trick to reading the numbers on the display. Uh, I'm lost. Can, can I reach these? No. Alright, let's backspace to get back to where I was. Then right click. How many planet? Ooh! Okay, this is a decent number of planets. It's a red star. Let's go. Yep. Yep, yep. I, I don't know if you were here when I was saying it, but I, I'm... I would like a mod to increase the difficulty. The one that somebody made hasn't been updated for years, and I don't know if it's still possible or not. One day, if I have time, I'll... look up the modding tools and see if it's even possible. It's a rattling. It's another flippin' exotic planet. I'm like on the exotic side of the universe. Uh, misclick. Fragmented. Uh, Alright, now I only have a heat shield and a radiation shield. Stellar corruption detected. Yeah, man. This, uh, I tell you what, if you were looking for weird planets, this, this save has it all going on. What's this one going to tell me? Abandoned planet. Aggressive sentinels. Cool. Uh, how about this planet? Plated planet. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I got to tell you. I got to tell you. I don't think I've ever... We'll just, we'll just go to this one. I don't think I've ever been in a, two systems with all these kind of weird planets. I should have just picked a yellow star. I know. I'm a little suspicious. Um, if one of the mods that I'm using is somehow affecting the uh, planet generation, maybe inadvertently, I'm, I'm suspicious because there's just so many of them. Which is why, if I'm going to play modded, I do it on my GOG save, not my Steam, not my Steam save, because I don't have, uh, I don't do the risky mods on my Steam save. Steam version, whatever I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, let's let's scan a few things. I could put a base computer down just so I can get back here if I ever want to pick up these glyphs. I don't really like this kind of kind of planet anyway. What are you? Okay, here's the big question though. Uh, I need to make... I think I'm out of work, work fuel, right? 
I'm out of warp fuel. So, so to make warp fuel, I need uh, condensed carbon, which I don't have. And uh, yeah, I I'm gonna be mining for I'm gonna be mining for a little while here. Uh, does this planet have condensed carbon on it? I see any big red spires? I don't. All right, let me put down a. Uh, yep, just happened to be carrying one. And uh, let's put some carbon in here, and then in here, let's put all the rest of the carbon that we have. Uh, 838, not bad. Cut it in half. 419. Let's make some condensed carbon. And uh, while that's going on, we're gonna get some ferrite. Glitch heaven, yeah, I know. This is a plant, right? Mineral? Plant? Yeah, it's a plant. It would sure be nice to find some bigger minerals. Uh, Alright, another plant. Let's scan it. Just carbon. That's fine. I don't want to lose my refiner. What's the little dude? Just part of the scenery. So the no cargo drops does help with the immersion, since you don't have car piles of cargo everywhere. Um, literally, there's not even that much broken machinery here, and I didn't even install the broken machinery mod. So that's rather interesting. Do, do, do. All right, there's some condensed carbon. And uh, let's pick this thing up. And now I'll be able to make some... Uh, too far away from the starship. Where did I park? Up here. I need nanites so bad. Alright, let's just get a few of these while we're passing by. 